All right, guys. So, um, circle drill. We got we got it nailed. Um, so remember, initiating edge as we're going in, moving the foot back, sometimes even further back if it won't turn. Getting that transition from wrong foot forward to neutral. The key is obviously eyes up and squaring those shoulders to the hill. The next drill um, that really helps us here is the S drill. And so the S drill really is um, a circle drill times how many ever S drills you do going up the hill. So guys, the key is, and this is what we always see, the first four are pretty good. Everyone's doing okay. As they get tired, the eyes go down and all of a sudden we're not doing the S drill. You get up and you keep those eyes down and the snowmobile keeps going down. The statement I've used I don't know for how many years, but it is. The snowmobile is only doing exactly what you tell it to do. I know in your head you want to go from f to wherever that point is, but the eyes dictate all of that. And so um, this drill will definitely show you when you are not riding with your eyes up, okay? So the key is, is so there's going to, it will get a little trenchy. Sometimes you can use that trench, but sometimes it's okay to go above the S drill, go below the S drill. The, but the goal is, is to keep going up. And here's the beauty of it. If you get tired mid hill, we don't just turn around and spin down. You park on edge, nose low, right? And then you can continue uh, keep going up the hill. Just like the circle drill, initially, if you need to, if you need to stop at the corner, move the foot back, rotate the corner, and then stop, that's okay. But ideally, we're not stopping in the trees. We want to carry momentum and get to the top. So ideally, we're going to just make it all one smooth transition around the corner, go over to the other side of the sled, like I was just explaining to what Ty did really well over here, get over to the other side of the sled, go wrong foot forward, make your other rotation, eyes around the corner, get over to the other side of the sled um, and just continue that. Lots of repetitions on this one. What's cool about it is we get both our left hand side uh, drill and our right side drill all in one. So let's go do it. All right guys, so again, the key to the S drill, um, especially when we're doing it as just a drill is to be nice and smooth. Uh, one thing that you're going to see here is a ton of transitions from one side of the sled to the other. Now, one thing to note is you're never in neutral on this. And we see that mistake a lot of guys going from wrong foot forward back to neutral, staying in neutral, then trying to go back to wrong foot forward again. And what that does is that really screws up the flow on the hill. And so basically what you're wanting to focus on here is transitioning from one side of the sled to the other like you see here step by step um, but more importantly when you make the turn you want to focus on having your eyes around the corner and not at the corner that's what tells your body when the right time to transition from one side of the sled to the other is so if as you've been watching this what you'll notice is at the the lower part of the hill where it wasn't as steep, my foot was all the way back on the running board. As I'm getting higher up on the hill and it's getting steeper, you'll notice when I step back over the sled, I'm not all the way back. Now, my foot is back enough where my off foot can fit on the running board, but I'm not all the way back because the sled will want to wash out. So that's, I actually saw that while I was watching this video, I was like, oh, huh, my foot wasn't all the way back right there. That makes sense because the hill is steeper. When the hill is less steep, you want your foot to be all the way back. So um, remember, foot back, body forward. That's something that you, you will see watching this video over and over as well is, yes, my foot is back on the running board, but my body is forward.